Explore the historically haunted museums of historic Palmyra, renowned as one of the most haunted places in the Finger Lakes. The Phelps General Store and Residence is among the sites where ghostly phenomena occur. The history and the items that are contained within our buildings all have their own little personalities and some kind of come out a little bit more than others. You know, it's so many items from so many different time periods all gathered here in the same space. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a little bit of a clash of energies causing these hauntings. At the historical museum, delve into the 23 rooms of the old hotel, relocated to 132 Market Street after a tragic fire claimed the lives of a young mother and her six children in 1964. Most of the time we hear the children laughing, crying, sometimes not very often, only because I think being here it makes them happy. Visitors may hear the spectral laughter of children playing hide and seek. Yep. Pick an Annabelle, any Annabelle. I was doing a room check and one of the dolls raised her arm. And then I came back through a little later and her arm was down and she was actually this way. She is known as Heidi and we tell people to be very nice to her because if any doll's going to move, it's her. While footsteps and eerie sounds emanate from the Erie Canal Depot and Palmyra Print Shop. So standing behind this counter, this is about as far as we are allowed to go. And that is per William, who was the owner of the store. When people come behind here, if they step past this area, they will get their hair pulled. And of course, when I hear a story like this, I have to test it out. Not that I don't believe it, but that's what we're here for. We're here to investigate. We're here to collect and maybe get our hair pulled. I don't know if it's power of suggestion. I'm not feeling any tugging, but I'm feeling, feeling a disorientation bordering on feeling nauseated. There's so much here to discover, I'm definitely going to have to return again.